Hey everybody, I'll tell you a little bit about the sun shield that we built. So the goal was to reflect a large amount of sunlight back out of the yurt so that through the hot summer we try to keep it a little cooler in here. We don't have air conditioning or anything so yurts can turn into little ovens during the hottest part of the day. And it's been quite a while months ago when I'd contacted Pacific Yurts for some ideas about what to do. They cautioned me, Pete cautioned me, that that in the past they offered a tented dome and people had done things to really try to completely block up the dome in the summer to reflect heat back out. And the plexiglass domes, some of them were cracking from excess heat. So he cautioned me not to do anything that kind of seals it up too much. And he showed me a picture of a really simple little white fabric reflector that actually hangs down about where the ceiling fan is. But because we put a fan in, that wasn't an option for us. So I went for something that sits up above the fan, but I left a lot of air gap, especially towards the front where the dome opens and air can get out. There's a big gap there. So yes, I'm letting some light in, but I really want to avoid that problem with a uh, cracked uh, plexiglass. So I'm really pleased with how it came out. If I had to guess, we're, we're covering what, 80% of the surface area up there? And, and that'll work as a compromise from airflow and sun blockage. So it, it hit, 91, 92 degrees today. And the yurt is pretty hot right now. It's 6.45 in the evening. And, but it, it would be quite a bit hotter if we hadn't put that in. We know that from previous experience. So happy with how it turned out. And in our climate, as soon as the sun goes down, the temperature will start dropping rapidly and we just need to cycle cold air into the yurt as fast as possible starting say, 8 30 9 o'clock and then it'll get down into the 60s or even 50s overnight so that's all about that dome sun shield i think is what i'm going to call it the sun shield solar shield it sounds very sci-fi deploy the solar <laughs> shield <laughs> um but it's been a long time since we've made a video so now i'll just jump into all kinds of other stuff we've been doing so, I had my work trip, and Super Tina handled everything no problem while I was gone. Oh, the, well, two chickens died. But. Yeah, two chickens up and died. We think it was just from a, a food change we had made or something, but it happens. Sometimes chickens die. Yeah. But, yeah, Tina did an awesome job. The animals got taken care of. The kids got taken care of. Everything was fine out here. Yeah. And big thanks to our friends David and Irina. I stayed with them while I was traveling for work, and that was awesome because it was like being with bonus family so that was mm -hmm. really fun thank you and now I'm back I two smiling faces of the kids <laughs> it was very sad driving away and seeing crying faces but now they're happy faces so we'll show you the garden real quick Tina wanted me to build a garden gate and then we'll do a normal latch because we just we'd been using that rope for a long time and it's just a little inefficient every time you go in and out of the garden to take the time to tie that rope and the kids don't find themselves I don't know can they just not really tie the rope they the way we do tight and the, all yeah. the pokes at the end of the hard wire were dangerous yeah so here's the little gate we whipped together it's pretty yeah Tina's dad, don't look too hard at how I did the hinges. The, the harder you look, the worse it'll look. So just <laughs> admire the nice rough sawn lumber. Ooh, Ooh, ah. And it opens so well. All right. That's exciting. The garden is doing well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think we planted the garden a little early. I was just basing it off of last frost date but i think we needed to worry more about average temperature too because the garden just re wasn't really growing for the first maybe full month um and now we're getting nice warm weather and things are taking yeah. off so i think the lesson learned there was we'll keep seedlings in trays and pots longer and let them get bigger yeah but yeah excited for the garden to really take off we were comparing our calendar with last year and we're still ahead of last year for planting the garden mm -hmm. and last year was the deer apocalypse for <laughs> losing the garden. And it's gonna be fun deja vu because 
our friend Ryan and his family are coming back to visit and he helped me put in these posts that um, that we ran that experiment of the fishing line which was a fail and then Tina and I put up this welded wire and that was a success. Mm -hmm. And so other things that have been going on, I've been going into the pond and drilling holes in that drain pipe below the water surface to slowly drain the pond further. And so if I keep that up for the next few days to a week, I think we'll get the pond really close to bottom. And with this hot dry weather we're getting, I'm guessing we can get a completely dried out dried pond. Out. So that'll be good and make it working around the pond easier. Mm -hmm. um, animals. The pigs are doing really well. As soon as I got back I moved them and I think I've got some footage of kind of all this stuff. I'll show you guys what the pigs have been doing. They're so cute. <laughs> and the goats are doing well. Oh and we sold Petunia, the little the little one with the horns that didn't nurse her baby that she had and we lost the baby. We I put her on Craigslist and we went ahead and sold her because yeah there's just not room in our breeding program for a goat that can't nurse its own young so yeah we're still not sure if any of our other four younger girls are pregnant or not tina's starting to wonder if snowball the really um tame white one is but we'll see <laughs> yeah but either way this fall october november time we'll breed them all again and mm -hmm. that'll be fun yeah i finished milling the pile of logs near the sawmill and so that was fun to get through. There's a lot of lumber there now. Mm -hmm. And I learned a lot. Um, the next time I set up the mill will be a good chance to try to get it even more level, even better set up. But I'm happy with the lumber I made. I mean, it's not so secret. If you've ever gone and bought lumber, you, there's, it's not perfect lumber at the store. The house that you're living in, it wasn't built with perfect lumber. So I'm not that worried about the lumber that I milled not being absolutely perfect. And it'll be great if I can get better at it, of course, but it's totally usable stuff. Mm -hmm. Looks really nice. And that's it. We're excited about guests and family and friends coming to visit. Mm -hmm. And Jacob, my nephew Jacob, who has been on videos doing lots of good work, is coming back. And I think his brother Johnny is coming too. So that'll be really fun. Bye. I'm already starting to think about what can we do, you know, with able, willing, help we can get a lot done and so I've got to start thinking ahead about you know which direction to point them so they can just go at it mm -hmm. it'll be great to have them too yeah so I'm sure it'll be some fun combination of you know timber work Jacob loves cutting down trees and stuff um, setting mm -hmm. stuff up for animals maybe we'll build stuff maybe we'll do excavation and tractor work just lots of different stuff and so, there's possibilities yeah <laughs> So I think I'll just show you a whole bunch of clips of what we've been doing and then we'll just see you when we see you. There's a lot, lot of stuff coming so we've got to jump on the yurt deck, we've got to what move the mill to its next place. Mm -hmm. When the kids are on summer break now so we'll be, we'll be home with the kids all the time <laughs> as per usual. What else? Can you think of anything? Swim lessons, visiting oh, with family kids are and in friends. Swim yeah, really excited about so, summer. It'll that'll be, be great. Yep. And we're just got to beat the heat. It's going to be 90 plus degrees every day on the 10 day forecast, I yeah, think. Yeah, we have a lot of afternoons to sit, yeah. spend down by the creek. So we need to set up that that big supper tent that Ken left here for us and just start eating dinner yeah, in that probably every evening. Be because great. there's just going to be a, um, kind of a. 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. time frame in the yurt where it just gets a little uncomfortable from the heat and so mm -hmm. that's okay yep we'll make it through all right we'll show you some clips and then we'll see you next time bye bye bye, -bye. bye.
Spot. Look how that big old tree over the years displaced all those rocks, pushed them up, spread them out. So cool. These goats love prancing around on the rocks. Snowball! Snowball! Good luck, Mama. Good luck. Is Mama out? Here we go. Here we go. Ah, Mama's out. out. <laughs> nice one, are you? I like, I use a little hand on your knee. Mm -hmm. nice. Ooh, that's you. Oh, hey. he's all in. Oh, oh man. Uh-oh, it's you and me, James. You and me. 
I think I would. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead, bud. Sixes. Here we go. Oh, I have a bite of some sort on my ankle. Oops. <laughs> hey, that one doesn't want to flip <laughs> over. <laughs> now you have every. <laughs> what? This is a disaster. I think you had every number. Oh, I haven't given up yet. Never give up. Ah, oh, no. What am I doing? Okay, twos. That was a disaster. <laughs> Fives. I don't bet I'm doing. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm Howie Chan. What? Ooh, dang it! I like getting matches. Go ahead. Wow! That was super spinny. We had a spinnier one. Yeah. I have more than you. Shoot. Oh, this is it. No! Oh, what did I do? No! no! You win. Good game, bud. Good game. Oh, <laughs> God. What a way to lose.